beautiful souls thank you for joining me today for this beautiful dm to dm reading i do hope you're well and that you're staying focused believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing that unexplainable love that is within you so as you can hear i'm still going through with my um throat chakra i've had like ascension flu so i do hope that it's not distracting you and that you can hear me clearly. Um, so I'm going to be using messages of unconditional love from the Divine Masculine to see what it is that your Divine Masculine, your true self, wants to share and express to you right now in this moment of this reading. So it is special because we are facing things and we feel things at different times. And through these messages, we understand what we're actually going through and what we're actually clearing and yeah it just it's just so supportive because whatever it is that is going on within you beautiful divine feminine your divine masculine is feeling and working through the same thing however it may seem to you in the 3d in the physical so let's see what is coming through nice clear message <clears throat> My ego doesn't like the plan I'm putting together, no. So the ego is interfering slightly at the moment. <laughs> so they are putting a plan together and they are getting this interruption at times and they feel disconnected at times from this plan because the ego doesn't like it. So when we're, you know, learning to always come from unconditional love, being who we truly are, the ego does actually come in very strong and distract us and comes in hard and wants to be fed. So that happens for your divine masculine also. But they're putting this plan together and they're aware that their ego isn't um, agreeing with this plan <laughs> because it's so different to how they normally do things. So that's beautiful. I felt terrified when we first met because I had never felt this way before about anyone or anything. No. I was terrified because I've never felt this way before. I've never felt so alive. <laughs> I've never felt so excited about life. But it terrified me because it terrified me because I didn't want it to be taken away from me. And at that point, I wasn't feeling good about who I am. I didn't feel good enough. I didn't feel worthy or deserving to receive your love. It just brought so many fears up. And it was all too good to be true. That's how I viewed it then. Now, I'm aware that that was my ego. I've been facing my fears and I am putting this plan together. I'm not allowing this fear to hold me back anymore. I had such mixed emotions when we first met. <laughs> the love that I can't put into words. But at the same time, I was so frightened because I knew that I had to work through so much and face myself. When I'm in the room with you, that missing piece is found, yeah. When I'm in the room with you, that missing piece is found. I feel absolutely amazing. I feel complete. Hmm. And that's because when you come into each other's life, you found yourself. Because you're one energy. You felt what it was like to actually be you and to feel love. And it is love for yourself. It's so amazing, it's so beautiful that this physical person, you know, is you in another physical person. And that's why it felt so pure. That's why it felt so real, is because it's love for yourself. And it comes through this physical person, your divine masculine. I finally know what it means to be complete. There you go. I know what it feels to be complete and then what we go through also is that 
we felt what it was like to feel to to be us to be loved and then we get go th you know through this ego death and the ego comes in strong and in and is views this person as separate from us and that's when things get complicated and get confusing and we feel this pain because this person seems to be letting us down and doing really hurtful things but actually it's just your divine masculine reflecting back to you what you're actually doing for you doing to yourself and and showing you that nobody can can make you feel complete but yourself and that's what you're learning in this preparation is to fulfill yourself to give this love to yourself and yeah we went through the bubble phase of experiencing that and then it was like Phew. <laughs> but you can complete yourself you felt complete And I fall when I'm around you. Yeah, when I'm around you, I fall. It terrifies me. It excites me. <laughs> but I fall deeper and deeper in love with you. And again, my ego <laughs> doesn't like that. But I am managing my ego and I'm not allowing my ego to rule me anymore. I'm allowing myself to fall so deeply for you. I'm allowing myself to feel, instead of protecting myself, I'm not allowing myself to feel this love for you because of fear of rejection, abandonment. I'm just going with this now. And I just fall, everything, I just crumble when I'm around you. There's so many different messages that are coming through from this message here. <laughs> They, they they feel this anxiety because they love you so much and you, they see you as this powerful, inspirational being. And they get nervous and they don't want to mess up and, and they just can't help but fall in love deeper and deeper <laughs> with you. So that's beautiful, isn't it? Very a deep channel message today from the Divine Musking. So I'm going to be using the Divine Musking 101s from beautiful Liz now. And there is fear coming through <coughs> and anxiety when I'm channeling that. And there is so much that wants to be expressed between both of you. And it's really been stirred up at the moment, I feel. <coughs> So let's see, right, those did a summer salt into my lap. You take my breath away, yeah. You take my breath away. I can't express to you what it makes me feel when I'm around you and I just fall. <laughs> you just take my breath away. You're, you smell amazing. They love your smell. Um, and this could be your natural scent. Where you've been intimate with each other and they know you know you know they know your natural scent all oh, this is about your perfume as well and they could be reminded of that wherever they're going whatever they're doing right now when they can smell you they love your smell so much and again it's about to go in certain places as well when smelling certain foods drinks it reminds us of our twin of the times that we spent together if that is resonating, it isn't going to resonate with all of you. It will never be over between us. It's never going to be over between us. So there's nothing to worry about. So your ego also, Divine Feminines, I'm going to go into the deeper messages now. Of this, you know, this is your true self. Your ego doesn't like the plan that you're putting together, creating this freedom for yourself. For you actually going for your dreams and desires, and actually doing what you love <laughs> and you know every in every area of love your ego comes in strong and tries to disconnect you from who you truly are and to worry and to be frightened about some of the choices and the decisions and the plans that you're putting together and you were you felt terrified when you felt when, when you met yourself for the first time when you felt what it was like to be you <laughs> That's the deeper message. And when you're in a room being your true self, that is enough. 
that missing piece is found and you know what it's like to, to feel complete. You've experienced that. And that isn't just when your twin was in your life. You've experienced what it felt to be complete lots of different times in this preparation now. You know what it feels to be complete and that is you giving this unconditional love to yourself, feeling worthy and having this wonderful relationship with higher power. You take your own breath away when you're being truthful. You love yourself so much. And that sounds ridiculous what I'm actually sharing, but that is the truth. It feels amazing when you when you feel good about you, when you're loving yourself. And that's why you, how you felt when your twin came into your life, your divine masculine. You felt like a goddess, a god. You felt so beautiful. You felt what it's like to really be you, as I keep telling you. And you love your own smell <laughs> as well. And you know that it's never going to be over. You're never going to give up on yourself. And your twin is saying, your divine masculine is saying, you smell amazing and it's never going to be over between us. So there's nothing to be fearful about. And you are the only one that I want. You're the only one that I want, however it may seem to you. Or whoever's been involved on your journey or maybe still involved, you are the only one that they want. And they're putting this plan together. You're putting this plan together. Moving forwards in your life, living your life in your truth, going for your dreams and desires. And at the bottom of the deck is, you are the only one who has ever really mattered to me. And that blew my mind. Because I didn't allow anybody to matter to me before. But I can't deny this. I can't deny these feelings because you do matter to me. And that's what was so different. And that's what why I felt so terrified when we first met. Hmm. It's because I, you did matter. You do matter to me. And you're the one thing that really does matter to me. And this is so different um, to what I've ever experienced in my life. And it's been very overwhelming. It's been very challenging facing myself. And you know that, Divine Feminines, because... Yeah, that's what's been happening for you as well. It's been overwhelming and very tiring, exhausted and, and, and challenging for you. But you are the only one that you want. At times we think that we want all these other things. But actually all you need is yourself and all you want is yourself. Is to give this love and it is the greatest love of all when you're loving yourself. And if there's fears that your divine masculine, you know, doesn't love you because they're with somebody else. That isn't the truth. That's just the ego coming in. That's the ego coming in and um, attack, having an attack and disconnecting you. Because it is so easy to fall into that trap. Because we've done it for so many years. To always come from fear. To always look at the dark side of things. Instead of seeing things through the eyes of love. There is nobody else that your divine masculine feels this way about, however it may seem to you. And if there are other people involved, there's part of your journey, there's part of you coming into union. And again, you can only have that deeper understanding when you're seeing through the eyes of love, when you're seeing the bigger picture, when you're being your true self. But you are the only one that they want. <laughs> so... They're beautiful messages. I really do hope that it's supported you and helped you understand what's going on right now and about this twin flame journey as well. And I know that when I'm delving deeper and sharing these messages, divine feminines, if this is you speaking to yourself, it's not what the ego wants. The ego just wants me to go on about how much your divine masculine loves you. <laughs> your divine masculine does love you, and that's because you love yourself. And you're, you 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 get to see this. You'll be shown this when you're showing this love to yourself, and you're not denying yourself anymore. So if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And remember to stay focused, to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. Thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you continuously give me 
I am so very grateful. And if you would like extra support, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. And I'm sending you my love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya. Oh, what's your soul saying?